We're into the fall months here in East Central Indiana, and in our climate, we have a lot of salty roads in the wintertime, which creates rust. I'm going to show you how I treat my doors to keep them from rusting. This works in other parts of the vehicle also. Let me show you what I'm talking about when it comes to rust here in Indiana. If you take a look at this truck here, it's a 2011. And you can see how that rust has started around those fenders. I picked this truck up just recently and it needs some work. But you see all that rust there? That's the rocker panel, the cab corner, and the side of the uh, bed. Now typically the driver's side isn't as bad as the passenger side. And the reason for that, I believe, is because all that slushy, salty snow is shoved over to the passenger side. And when you're driving down the road, you pick a lot more of that up. So it stands to reason that the uh, passenger side would get a little bit more rusty. Now, the verdict's still out if I'm going to fix these rockers. I bought this truck just to get me by in the wintertime, but not a one of the doors on this uh, truck has started to rust yet. And I have two doors here that you can see that... Uh, I have open. Now one thing you want to do is, is just make sure that the doors are leaning towards the back. I guess you could do it towards the front also, but let me show you what I'm talking about. You can see the bottom of these doors have not started to rust at this point. Now this is the back door on the passenger side. The uh, Rust hasn't really started on it, but you see how those rockers are and how bad they are. Even the inner rocker is gone. But the bottom of the doors, for the most part, is fine. And that's the case on all four doors. Now I want to keep it that way. So what I do is I jack up the truck so that the door is leaning towards this side right here. The first thing that I do is I locate the weep holes in the bottom of the door. Like right there, you see that hole? And there's one here on the other side of the door. Sometimes there's more than just two, but this door has two. And typically where a door will rust, quickest is in these little corners right here, taking out the corner of the door and then following this seam all the way around. Now what you want to do is get that seam coated with something that would not rust or would help prevent rust. You want to get something in these corners here because even this rust that's on this rocker, you know, that's that's just opening up the whole gateway to rusting the whole bottom of these doors out. And there's four of them, and I don't want that. So there's two products that I go after, typically, to, to start with. One is just plain old PB Blaster, as you can see here in a can, maybe, right there. Uh, there you can see it. PB Blaster with the straw and fluid film. Now, fluid film is great for underneath, especially where you got stones hitting, because when stones hit this stuff, it, it may make a little divot in your film, but it closes right up, because this stuff actually stays solvable. I mean, it does not get hard or anything. It's a mess. I coated a, one truck of mine completely underneath, and then I had to do some work under there, and it was a nightmare. But you know what? That truck didn't rust. 
I don't know if I'd do the entire underneath side again. It's a nightmare for the mechanics. But this stuff works great. So what I'm going to do is take the, flu uh, the PB bat blaster and I'm going to put the straw in that little hole and just spray some of this up in there until it runs out. Just like that. And then I'm going to do the other side the same way. If I can get it up in there. Just want to make sure it gets all over in that crevice. So I put quite a bit in. And then what you're going to want to do is get a shop rag and wipe the residue off of this weep hole right here, right there. The reason for that is we're going to dump some oil in from the top, which is going to come down here and run this direction until it runs out this hole right there. And in doing that, then I am comfortable in knowing that this whole bottom seam right here is sealed with a lubricant. So I'll get a shop rag, I'll wipe that off, and I'll show you how I close that off or try to. Anything will work. All you need is to get that hole sealed back up. The reason you want to seal that hole up is like I said, when I pour that fluid in, I don't want it running out here. I want it running down to the lowest possible point. So what I take is a piece of tape and I put right over that hole. And that's the reason why I tried to wipe the excess off. So you can see that. Now I'll show you where I typically try to get the... the uh, lubricant in the door to run down. So let's move up to the top. I've inserted this plastic tube down into my door and now what I'm doing is just shoving it down in there. I have no idea where it's going. You're right. But let's just see how this works. Okay, then I have this sticking out. You can see right there. Now usually Take something, some kind of container like this that has a spout on it and I just start feeding that oil in there and just let it run in. This here oil happens to be some old two cycle oil that I'm not using anymore. Thought it would be a good place to use it. You can see how I'm shoving that in. I have no idea where that's going. But my guess is it's making its way to the bottom of the door. I'm putting plenty in. We'll just let that set for a little bit and see what happens. As you can see there, that did make its way to this end. Now I'm going to let that excess run out. And we'll just let it drip. And then the, the only other thing you have to do then is go at it and do the rest of the doors. Could also pull these little plugs here out, these uh, little plastic plugs right there and work it in, but I don't believe that's going to be necessary. I want to emphasize again, the door has to be leaning so gravity brings it to one side or the other. And then also these corners are very critical you want to make sure they get sealed good, but this one is, is actually doing real good. Well, there's the door behind me. It's still dripping a little. We'll just let that set there for probably, I don't know, I may let it set there for an hour or two like that. But I can go ahead and do the other doors. You can see that there's just a little bit of oil right here. It may be on the mechanisms under there. It may not be, but uh, keep an eye on that. I don't, I very seldom roll down them bottom or back door windows anyway. And the others, I'm not going to put as much in, but for illustration's sake, I wanted to show you what I was doing down here and to show you that 
it it is still dripping down there you can see it rest assured that door is sealed and I can pull this off now and it absolutely is running out that other side also but you can see the oil running right in here and I am confident that that door is sealed enough to keep it from rusting at least for a winter maybe even two but if you would do that to your doors it's a little messy I realize how do you rust proof your truck for the harsh winters that the northern states bring let me know tell me how you do what I try to do obviously you saw the rust back there we fell miserably at times I appreciate you watching my channel if you haven't subscribed yet I would encourage you to do so because I put content similar to this on not just with this truck but a lot of different things and this items and uh, that I repair in my shop some of it I I have success and some of it I don't and I share a little of my life story along the way if you don't want to miss any of that make sure you subscribe and and hit the notification button so when I upload videos that you would know it I try to do a couple videos a week and then I throw in a couple of short clips in between and if you do like this and you want to see more about how I've tried to rescue this old truck I'd encourage you to watch this video right here about the obstacles that I've faced along the way in this truck can it be fixed in Mars fix a chop sure it can for the most part can you fix it you're darn right you can fix it until the next time.